You have not let race or your gender interrupt you from breaking through to the glass ceiling. Now, do you feel more pressure being a Latina female CEO? Yes, because what drives me is to make sure that I am not the only one that gets through that glass ceiling. What drives me is to make sure that we completely erase that glass ceiling. And unfortunately, we have shattered the glass ceiling, but it's still there. We can still see the cracks and we, can still, and we still feel the glass ceiling over our heads. So when we talk about uh, breaking the glass ceiling, to me it's making sure that first I'm not the only one that gets through it, that I can actually bring thousands of other women through it. Um, and as a Latina, that I am not um, uh, put into a category just because of my name or my race or my gender. Um, it's inescapable. I mean, my name is Alejandra Castillo. It's not, it's nothing else. I look in the mirror every day and I know I'm a Latina and I'm proud of it. But I don't want that to be my only uh, determining factor or the factor that puts me behind. Um, as many women, uh, yeah, we do carry that, that reminder that we have to work twice as hard to get just halfway through the journey. But um, I'm eager to do it if I know that the institutional memory and legacy that I leave behind is one that perhaps 50 years from now somebody can say, you know, I was able to get here because of the work of many others. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm thankful for that.